<laughs> Take a deep breath and a pipe ventilating. Hello and welcome to week three of Grim Scarlet, the snow in summer. As we continue on with where we left off in our very cliffhanger-esque game last week. As we pick up in the world of remnants as the camera kind of zooms down into the city. Slowly catching all of the extremities of the city where there's a few lights and whatnot that's still flickering in the waning sunlight as it goes down towards the southern district where our party found themselves last. It continues to follow as we just see this bright flash of light followed by the staccato sound of gunfire and gas as the scene quickly moves down as we watch as Ardeen <laughs> does 14 hit your armor class no I thought I shoved her down yeah, yeah. Did. thematically but she was still shot at Oh, okay. Aww. <laughs> what you did was made her not get advantage to get shot at. Oh, thanks. <laughs> but no, 14 does not hit. As we hear that loud staccato sound and that yell, as the camera continues to zoom down on the top of the watch building, as we see the party with Ardeen just blinking on the ground, and Matthias yes, pushed over him, <laughs> or her. As this is where we enter in on the game. Matthias, you're currently like <laughs> over Ardeen, protecting her at the moment, while Reeve, you just stop and feel the side of your cheek as you just feel warm feeling coming down it. As you look behind you, and then on the exact same path line, you see a bullet hole in the wall. Is it the same bullet? Do I know this? You can assume it, yes. Okay. Uh. What? <laughs> oh, can I see anything down below? Like, a person who did it? As you peek your head <laughs> up, you give it a shot. So carefully. I don't want to get shot again. In the head. <laughs> and as you peek out, you hear another staccato sound as he shoots at you again with disadvantage now. With his second attack. Um. Darn it. Quick question. As it just Ooh. nails in the side of the wall on the, probably on the next to you, you just see the spray of concrete and whatnot hit you in the face as you duck down again. But as you do, you did get a good sight of where it was. It looks to be about three blocks over towards one of the tents that seems to be improperly made. You could see the end of a barrel followed by the spark and flash of the shot. Guys, be right back. I gotta switch phones. Bye-bye. <laughs> Quick question, DM. <sighs> yes. Uh, the building we're in, how tall is it? It's about 15 Cause... feet up of where you're at right now. And we're on a second story, which leads out to a balcony? You're on the balcony currently, yes. We're on the balcony currently. Um, Can I, I want to, I want to scream, or not scream, I want to yell at Ardeen. Did you see where it was? The three blocks down in a tent over there. I'm going to turn go. in, I'm going to turn in the direction she uh, pointed, and I'm just going to, um, I'm going to grab her my mace and jump off the balcony in that direction. Oh, Alright, so, since, people that you aren't aware, my game actually uses something close to a feel of playing like Ruby, so we have modified jumping rules. So, go ahead and give me your athletics. Yeah, I can do that. And you can jump up to twice your strength score in your move at least 10 feet on it immediately before you jump. Oh, so if I did that, I could survive. Okay. So with a 20, yeah, you're able to bound off the side and actually leap 
clear past one of the tinted building houses area that was right next to this building and just kind of hit the ground with a roll and still be in straight movement. Sweet. Seeing that he didn't die, I'm going to try the same thing. <laughs> I forgot we had jumping rolls. Because we're an anime, not anime. We could do that. Anime, not anime. It counts. Exactly. Do I have to do it athletics also? Yes. Can it be acrobatics? Um... No, but you have this, to do a backflip. Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you have to do a Go backflip. ahead. <laughs> and describe how fancy you do this. Oh, I want to like jump off and kind of do like a sideways flip that turns around and then like three point landing and then run. Superhero landing. Superhero yeah. landing. Just gonna do a superhero landing. Yeah. So as you're both in just mid transit to this um build, bleh, block, it's about seventy five feet away from you after you made your movements. As you're continuing heading that direction, you hear in the distance as if he was starting to reload as you watch in the same tent that she pointed, a small coalition of like fiery energy and whatnot seemed to glow in there, followed by a as a large shot of what looks like fire just heads in your direction. We're gonna die. Jump out of the way. Split up. Split up. To make a deck save, Reeve. No problem. Fuck. <sighs> That's a problem. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no. So Reeve, as you start heading in oh. this direction. But <laughs> you just watch as Reeve gets shot at by this swirling energy of fire before it impacts to him and just gets blown out in a spray of what looks like fire based dust energy as he gets careened in an arc about 15 feet up and then falls into one of the tents with a heavy crash. I want to keep walking forward, but or running, but split off and try to like hide behind buildings, like get whatever like cover sneakiness that I can get. Is five the damage? Hopefully, <laughs> five is the fire damage. Okay. Six is the physical. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. In, in a weak voice, <laughs> or pretty, a pretty beat to shit voice, and I'm gonna stick my thumb straight up. So you can see it over the uh, the wreck of the uh, tent. <laughs> I'm gonna squeak out. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately after that, you watch as what was this tent covering this guy spins and turns and like collapses as what you thought was a tent seems to move and cover this guy much like a like a desert sash or desert cloak as he stands up and immediately starts running away from you guys. I want to follow. All right, this is the fun part of the game where it turns into a chase scene. Yay. <laughs> so uh, you realize you're the only one chasing. <laughs> yep. So as you start I'm to mad. head... As you start to head past the many, like, congested, tented areas and people every so often peeking their head out just to, like, thematically just push back in as they see <laughs> one person running quickly in one direction followed by you behind them as you're trying to gain pace up on them. You continue to run as you have sight on him originally. As you see him turn his head over his shoulder, you can't really see his features since it's covered very well with these sashes as he turns back and with an injection of his right hand he grabs something quickly throws it off behind him I need you to make a acrobatics check duck <laughs> oh. as you try to jump over it 
it tips just at your foot as you go in a roll, but you immediately oh, no. roll and go back to your feet and continue running as it looks like he's starting to pull ahead an extra 10 feet. No. Um, how many people are out in the Since area? it's at night, most pe- there's like a handful of people coming out just out of the confusion from the sound of gunfire, but not a lot of people in here. Um, do I see any like guard people? You do not. Uh, that would be convenient. Wanna... <laughs> I could hope. Um, I'm gonna just keep running and yell, "Stop him!" and see if anyone will just keep yelling and see if anyone will help. <laughs> you know what? Go and do a persuasion. Oh God! Oh man! Oh such yeah. People person. Oh, yeah, we're nice. so... <laughs> As you yell out, like, this one individual that seemed to be really confused, he's wearing a, um... He's in long johns right now as he's poking out, and you, he hears you say, stop him, as he looks to you and to the man that's just clandestine and cloaks and... Uh, 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 as he tries to jump in front of him, as the guy, you're watching him run... And finally, he reveals his gun that looks like a very long rifle that melds across his forearm and turns into something like a gauntlet as he holds it out and just punches this guy straight into the face as he turns and falls into the tent. Though, oh. the action slowed this the guy in front of you down by an extra ten feet. Oh. oh How far man. away am I from him? <laughs> You're getting close. You're about 50 feet away from him at this point as you're trying to chase after him. If I try to, like, shoot him, it's going to slow me down, right? It'll slow you down by five feet. <sighs> and it's so far away it would be a disadvantage. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try it anyway, though. All right, give it a shot. Oh, God. Hey! Wow. Too bad it's at disadvantage. Oh, no! <laughs> what? Oh, okay. That's still not bad. 17. Wow. Still, still hits. Yes. Roll for damage. Yes. Um, I don't know if that's what I click or not. Nope. How do I roll for damage? You press the bow text on the chat, and it will roll the damage. Oh, okay. As you shoot, no, go describe it as you guys are running through the tented areas of the South, South District. Um, I'm going to keep running, and I'm going to pull out my staff thing, and click it into the bow thing, and yell, ah, <laughs> and shoot him, <laughs> and keep running. <laughs> so as you do this, you watch as a bolt of, like, Air Force shoots from your bow staff as it careens in the air and does that fun little arcing circular pattern as it just hits directly up in his side as he grunts really heavily as he does he kind of turns as you can see his gun that's now formed in somewhat of a gauntlet he turns to face you as he holds his hand out as his fingers open up to look like multiple different barrels as you just oh see shoot as it starts unloading bullets out of it. So gonna die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good, good God, what? I need you <laughs> to make a deck save. Hopefully, it's better Sarah than mine. Who oh, me? What? What? What happened? Yeah. Wow. As, All right. <laughs> out as he turns and does this, you just instinctively, quickly jump to the side evading the main pathing of this fire, which, luckily for you, evades all the damage. Yes. As you watch it just begin to shred up the tents in the area, as you just see the fire, it's just like, choo, 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 going off in the direction of where you're running, before it finally stops, and you can hear the pitter-patter of him running off again. This guy... I am really pissed off, and I am going to run so hard. I really want to catch this guy. It's not going to work, but I really want to catch this guy. 
So as you turn over and start to run again, he took the time that he used to shoot at you and you taking cover to barely get out of line of sight from you now. No. I can't tell which way he went. You can still hear him running, but you get to a fork in the road, a road pretty much. And there's no nothing to say which way he went. I can't hear anything. That's what a roll would give you. Oh, okay. Perception? Yes. <laughs> you feel like as you're trying to get a good um, scope on which way he went, you hear a scream coming from your right. I'm gonna run that way. Now, on the other side of this, Matthias, you kind of just get <laughs> up and shake off what's just happened. You notice that Reeve got blown from what looked like an explosive shot that sent him careening into another tent as he's barely oh. as moved <laughs> right now. As you're watching, like in the distance, it seems like gunfire and tents being shredded what looks like a bunch of like machine gunfire. That it seems like it's starting to slowly arc back into a circle towards this building again. Oh no. Can I see exactly where this gunshot is coming from? Um, it looks like it's just happening off in the distance, not necessarily towards you. Uh, okay. I'm gonna try to move Reeve. <laughs> so I should just jump That's down the, the building. You go over to where Reeve uh, initially fell. As go ahead and describe how you look, Reeve. I I'm like spread eagle on my back, and I've spent the last thirty <laughs> seconds just trying to make sure. Am I still here? <laughs> <laughs> all my body parts are still here. <laughs> like like doing like doing like that mental assessment. Like all right, toes, legs, <laughs> torso, fingers. All while dealing with the immense burning sensation that is now on the front of my body. Oh. <laughs> Reeve, are you okay? Do I look okay? No. <laughs> Don't be straight, Doc. <laughs> How bad is it? You look. You look. You look bad. <laughs> what about my face? Fine. A oh God. Singed. Anyways, let's move. In an enormous groan, I'm going to try and roll onto my side and pick myself up. You do so, bud. It, as you're looking at him, he looks really bad. Like, hitting him oh, with really a rock bad. would be enough to knock him out. Okay, we need to take cover. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to grunt. Yes. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to have a swap out set up for me. <laughs> what? It's because she's with her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so after that initial like spray of damage and whatnot, it kind of quickly moves back to the chase scene. Yeah, this As... is all I'm running for my life. <laughs> Ardine. You turn the corner and you head in um, different alleyways going back and forth before you realize you see him currently like trying to make another dash away or behind another corner just as you lose sight of him one more time. I want to follow him. Can I yeah. follow? See where he's going? Yeah, you definitely run up and you get to that corner as you turn to see where he's going. As your eyes widen... And she realized she fell right into his trap as he seems to be back to a wall. His little tent spread out around him, kind of like almost like a spider web, just with his cloak around him, with his gun form out as he's aiming and waiting for you as he takes a shot as you immediately come across the corner. That's so cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly less mad. <laughs> oh. As you just at the last second just like, <laughs> and like suck your breath in and come across the corner, as you just hear, 
as you just hear the loud impact of the bullet actually breaking apart some of the concrete building that was behind you. Oh god. I want to run at him. I'm so pissed right now. Like, just flames coming out of my eyes. (laughs) As you do so, you see him, like, as you come across a corner, he's already turning his gun back into his, like, gauntleted automatic machine gun hand thing. But you get within range enough for it to attack while he's changing it. Like, hit him? Yeah, you're within range. Or do I still have to shoot him? Okay, yeah, I'm gonna hit him with my quarterstaff, and then I can bonus action punch, right? Yeah? If you hit, yeah. I wanna do all the things. Okay. Go ahead and do it. Oh. As he sees you coming, he just gets just in time for his gauntleted automated arm to get over him as he just brings it up and then catches it against your quarterstaff. Oh no. Do I still get a bonus action punch? Oh, do you? I think I do. Um, Let's look at Fury of Blows. When you use an attack action with an unarmed strike on your turn, you can make one unarmed strike as a bonus action. Does it say unarmed strike only? Yeah. Then you didn't do an unarmed strike. You did a quarter staff. Well, with an unarmed strike or a monk weapon, which is a quarter right. staff. That's why I said did just say or, uh, unarmed. Oh no, the bonus action has to be an unarmed strike. Sorry. All right, then, yeah, you can get your attack off. Punch! Punch! Oh. All right. <laughs> Describe how you hit him. Smack in the jaw. So as he... Grunting. As he just kind of just, like, batting off your bow currently with his forearm that's gone with it, you take that precise moment as he's just, like, using most of his um, attention to that to bring your hand <laughs> out and just knock him directly against the jaw. As he roll for damage. Yeah. Okay. As he just does a little spin from you doing this damage, taken off, like off guard at first, as he goes, and you're like, oh yeah, he's about to fall, but he's actually using that momentum to just quickly backhand you with his gauntleted arm. Darn it. Does. 13, hit your AC. Nope. So, just as he's, like, swinging around to bat you, you quickly just drop down. (laughs) (laughs) Right before it hits. But as he's still spinning, you watch as his leg is coming around with a kick as well. He can hit multiple times. Um. So, does 17 hit? Yeah, can I do one of the reactions that makes it not hit so much? Yes, yes, you could. Um. Uh, da, 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 da. Um. What is the s- sidestep you can perform? A jump after the attack is declared? Does that mean before it hits? For the sidestep, as a reaction, you can perform a standing jump after an attack is declared on you. That. Were you were initially aware of, which you are aware of this one. Does that mean it won't hit? It if means I that you. It depends on if it would be still within his range after your jump. But for normal people oh. that has only five feet worth of range, if you jump away from him, yes, he would be out of range. Oh God. I will try the thing. That thing. Jump. Ooh. All right. Roll your athletics. Oh God. Not acrobatics? Not acrobatics. Uh oh, I picked the wrong one. Yeah. Alright. Luckily for the jumping rules, that's still enough to get at least 10 feet away from him as he does his kick. As you just quickly jump back and slide against the ground, he takes that initiative after missing his kick to just turn and start to run away from you in the other direction. God damn. I'm running after him. I'm so invested in this. Luckily, Just yelling. he only took a move action. So he's about 35 feet away from you, but then you jump, <clears throat> so he's about 45 feet away from you at that point. I don't have key points yet. This would be so much of a better fight if I we had gotten to level up before this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, then I guess I can run and then 
dash and get to where he is. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can actually overpass him if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try to run and get in his way. So he'll either have to go around me or go the other way or something. So you do that as you get in front of him, as he continues to run forward, as you see him, like, finger by finger bring his hand up, just closing it up into a fist, and look like he's about to punch you, as it arcs downwards and punches at the ground. Uh Uh-oh. As it makes a loud shotgun-like noise. As, excuse me, get out of my way. Thank you. You watch him shoot up 15 feet off the ground onto the side of one of the buildings and does another jump to get on top of the other side of the building. That was really cool. (laughs) (laughs) I want to do the same thing. And I'm going to yell, this is not over yet, and follow him. All right, so Matthias. (laughs) Actually, he jumped off the building, so... You can give me a perception at disadvantage. Uh, what, make, uh, make okay. all the reservations? I'll do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> so with Matthias doing a perception at disadvantage... No, unfortunately you don't see this. Reeve, you can actually give one too as well. Perception? Yes, at disadvantage. Welsh. Oh. Hey. So you could just hear the sound of gunfire and everything heading off in the distance, but you don't know exactly where it's going from, coming from. Yeah, I'm more concerned with my limbs still being on me. <laughs> All right, finally, Ardeen, go ahead and see if you can make it up this building to follow up. Is this athletics again? Or yes. Do it? Okay. I'm not so good at these. As you watch him, he's like, oh, well, I can do that too. As you bend your knees and push off, as you misjudge the distance and nail your chin directly into one of the side of the building. Oh, Oh, guys, our rolls. As she just rolled back. I was doing great up until this point. As she just rolled back to the ground. That's the second critical fail we've had. It's only been like 15 minutes. <laughs> Ow. Um, I'm not going to try that again. He's like long gone at this point. If you don't get up there fast enough to see his direction, you feel like time is of the essence. You would have to get up there now to make sure you can keep track of him. I'm going to try one more time. Fire's still coming out of my eyes. Smoke out of my ears. <laughs> <laughs> Try one more time. Oh, God. (laughs) What? (laughs) How does this happen? (laughs) As you try, your very heart is like, you stand up, you're a little disoriented. You're like, no, it's not going to end like this. You jump up once again as you hit the top of your head on the same corner. As you just fall back to the ground. And I think two critical fails is fair enough for just a thematic unconscious as you hit the, your head once again. You yeah, know, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I'm just gonna scream at the roof and be like, no! As thematically you watch as the camera just pans up and you watch as he's just jumping from one building to the other before fading off into the distance. God damn. Ugh. So mad. Hey, guys, I held my own pretty well up until that moment. Okay. (laughs) Um, So, there's a scene transition as it goes black and comes back with Ardeen covering herself with hiding off the shame of what happened and moving towards (laughs) Matthias and Reeve to open up the scene like that. As you see Reeve currently in a horrible condition. Oh, Reeve, are you okay? Just, just a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> I cough and sweat comes out. 
Oh. Ardeen, oh. 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 did you catch him? No. I got a few hits in, though. He has this really crazy cloak. And then I tried to follow him, and he jumped on some buildings, and then I totally landed those jumps. And he just, I lost him. <laughs> I want to insight. <laughs> All right, our Dean roll of deception. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, well, she's totally truthful. <laughs> It That's went down okay. just like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's okay, we'll get him next time. I'm... I'm so mad. Like, who was this guy? I don't know. Oh, crap. He, some guy got punched while we were being chased. I'll be right back. And I'm gonna run and see if I can find the guy who got punched that tried to help me. As... As Ardeen takes off, I wanna go to... I wanna say to Matthias, can you fix me up? <laughs> Can you what? Oh, fix. Can you fix me? I don't, actually, I don't think I can. Like I can, but I'll come back. <laughs> I just look at You're him and shake here, my head. I'm sorry. <laughs> hang, hang in there, Reed. Our fearless leader will be back to help. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> As you head We're... back to the slummed area that unfortunately took the brunt of this encounter. You come across a bunch of people that are pulling themselves up to their feet. Um, essentially, a lot of them had their tents either shot at or some people had the unfortunate event of getting impacted from some stray bullets. So you have some people that are bleeding from various points, but it doesn't look like there's any fatalities. Oh, no. Um... Is the guy there that got punched? As you try to find him, you do find him in the exact same spot you left him. <laughs> Completely unconscious on the ground. Oh no! Um, can I, like, medicine check? Or, like, to try to get him awake? Or if that doesn't work, I can use, like, the healer's kit and try to make that work. And you did get I feel the bad healing for this feet. Guy. You did get I did. the healing. Okay, so. It looks like he's not going in any worse condition as you get over there. He's not, like, bleeding out or seizing up. He just looks like he's unconscious. So he'll be okay. He's not gonna die. You assume. Oh, no. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, like, look around. Does anyone seem to know this guy? They all seemed a little busy with their own faults or problems at the moment. <laughs> None of them seem to be addressing his problem so much as their own. Oh god. And this kid is unconscious. Um I'm a he's just like in the middle of the street. He's on his tent. He got hit so hard that he spun and then fell onto his tent knocking it down. Oh, okay. I wanna try to like take him off the tent so I could kinda of try to put it back up. Yeah you can go through the process of doing that. <laughs> I feel so bad for this kid. Guy, he's probably an adult. Peyton, are you finished? Just my spells. And, uh, with my, I already picked my cantrips. And it's just my four level ones. And I'll be good to go. So you're good enough for RP then? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally good enough for RP. <laughs> <laughs> so... You wake up after you hear this sound of all this very violent commotion. Like, you haven't heard anything in the Southern District this violent since, like, the old gang wars before. As you come out and you see, like, some smoke rising off in the distance of in the middle of the night. Some people, like, groaning and moaning in pain. As... What do you do? I'm um, inside a uh, trash bin, and I I'd, well, I'd laid on my backpack, and my instrument is kind of strung up behind me, between me and the wall, 
and uh, I'm kind of grown. I'll look around. And I'll look out and uh, wipe the tire from my eyes. Usually, small amounts of sleep it wears on, but uh, this is something I've dealt with by now. And I'll look around and see, try to assess uh, what what's immediately kind of going on. As you look around you, you can see that there's a small bit of panic coming from one of these like districts over here. As people are like moving away from what looks like almost like a, a ground zero esque area, not so much as it looks like people are like covered in blood and looks like something horrific happened, but enough like oh there was a shooting. I'm trying to get me and my family away to safety type of evacuating. Oh, so. people are not like full on like. Like in terror, but there's like there's definitely that kind of air of worry aftermath. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um. Yeah. And then he'll first thing to do, grab his backpack, slug it on, grab his instrument, slug it on, and he'll uh, stand up and. We'll poke his head out and kind of stretch. And take a little bit out of his bar skin. Clear his throat. And then uh, he'll look over to uh, see if there's anybody immediately around that. Uh, looks like, looks like they need a hand. Yeah. As you look around, you see there's one particular person that looks like they could use it. it. Seems like a girl no more the age of like 18 or less trying to help this guy up that seems to be collapsed on his tent. And it looks like she's pushing him to the side and looks like um, fixing up the tent for him. Though he looks like he's cold clocked. He's 100% out of it. They'll look to the danger that's around his ear less and then look to the gods just cold clock. Uh just shake his head and and uh look around a little bit more. Uh and let it outside then he'll, he'll go over to the uh do do I know the guy? Uh, I'll, I'll walk up to him. Uh, do I recognize the cave that got cold call? Oh, yeah. He's one of the the criers, paper boys. He goes around giving people hard paper if they don't have scrolls to get messages sent to them that way. Good kid? Or kind of rough around a little? Oh, he's totally a good kid. Rough guy. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. Then he'll totally... He'll, uh... He'll go over uh, to him and he'll kind of kneel down beside him and uh, just say, uh, yeah, you want me to make up a name or you got a name for him? Oh, his name's Ted. <laughs> what are we kneel down. Ruffle his hair. Kind of have this solemn look on his face, and he'll uh, reach into his pack and he'll take a like a shirt that he has. It's a fine looking shirt, nice, uh, definitely worth more than what the attire he has on. <clears throat> Not really gained through the right avenues, but uh, soft. He lay, he bundles it up and lays it. Underneath his head, props his head on, uh, as if kind of like a pillow for the shirt. It's around yeah. this time, Ardeen, as you just get the mechanism of the tent finally resembling somewhat what it used to be. As you turn around and you see 
this individual, what looks like he's pillowing the unfortunate individual that got hit. Why don't you go ahead and describe yourself, Peyton? What does your character look like? This guy's a willowy boy. <clears throat> a willowy build. He um, seems middle 20s. Um, and he has a uh, uh, dark, shortcut hair um, that kind of goes down to uh, the nape of his shoulders. And he looks definitely that he's been around here. He's definitely a native to the slums. And um, he's wearing just a, a set of just regular clothes. Um, that are kind of disheveled a bit. Uh, though something about him, he has really piercing blue eyes. Like the contrast of his uh, coppery skin. It's so bright with his eyes that it kind of, it really kind of illuminates over everything but he has a uh his little bit of a uh, scrag to him um though it looks like it had been maintained for a bit uh, and he has a sort of a a posture to him that speaks confidence and he slung um over his back is uh a backpack uh, that's definitely been around the block and um, though it doesn't have any holes in it or anything like that uh, it's just been kind of kicked around um, and a guitar an electric guitar that's cool and, and kind of slung um, on the side of the backpack is a lyre and he has a uh, call, has a uh, yeah, it's a dog collar around his neck, but instead of a, like a little a uh, instead of like a dog tag or anything on the collar, it's just a uh, it's a uh, coin that's kind of like been chipped so it can fit in there. So you turn to see this individual what? You could only hope to be an aid to the individual that got knocked out. Um, Emma will go to walk over and kind of bend down and say hello, looking a little bit concerned and confused. He looks up and says, Hello, um, I. I saw you was helping this man, this boy. I, I really do appreciate it. Uh, he's good. He's a good boy, and I'm I'm glad you uh, fixing fixing him up, whatnot. Do you know him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do. He's he's a good kid. One of the cars around here. Uh, he's he's got good nose on him. Uh, glad, like I said, I'm glad you, glad you was helping. As you look at him, you didn't take time to notice it before, but you look at his face. It looks like he got. He doesn't look like he's dying or anything, but it looks like he got in a very, very, either bad tussle with someone or got hit with a meat hook, <laughs> like meat tenderizer. But his face is. Yeah. It definitely looks like he got into things that he normally wouldn't be sticking his head yeah, into. Yeah, no. yes. Oh. Yeah, she says, he says, uh, um, he kind of says under his breath, but he says almost kind of loud, must be having to with all the commotion going on. What, did you see what happened? He looks um. like you could say that. <laughs> um, 
We. Oh, what was that? It's around this huh? time when she says He's that. Just, he, now he gets kind of like a suspicious kind of look. <laughs> yeah, it's like around this time as you say that, you take a good, like you were just talking in passing with this girl before, but now as that sounded kind of strange, you take a good look at who you're looking, talking to. Go ahead and describe yourself, Ardeen. Um, I am fairly tall, if I remember, pretty tall, um, like 20-ish. I have stark white-blue hair that's always kind of moving in the wind just a little bit. Um, crazy blue eyes and, like, tannish skin. And has a pretty guilty look on her face <laughs> right now. Guilty as in you feel... Like, like I feel very responsible for this kid. Okay. This whatever happened. Sarah, mute yourself. Does, does she seem like guilty as responsible that she feels bad or guilty as responsible as like um, a she, conscience? She looks remorseful. That's then uh, <laughs> he kind of looks down and he says You know, you'd be doing it right by him. Tell me what happened. I'm just coming clean with it. I unfortunately in a fitful sleep when all this ha was happening, so I didn't get to see nothing. And if you were a part of him getting his face shined like that. I don't think he's pretty jet now. But that he came over here trying to help him. That puts you on the right way. Doing right by not me, him. Oh. Accidentally disconnected, looks like. All the connections issues. But he'll kind of. So not the Miss Beat. He'll kind of reach over down to the kid and kind of rough his hair. And uh, he'll just kind of shake his head. And uh, there's more stuff going on. Is is like as if this another. Another someone not caught in the right place at the right time. And as it goes on to that scene, the camera kind of fades as it moves to black. And we're going ahead and take our time at this point to take our first break since we've been on for an hour. We're going to take a 15 to 10 minute break to go ahead, get situated, stand up, use the restroom. I suggest you do the same and we'll be back here to continue on with the second part of Grim Scarlet, Snow and Summer, Ruby Base 5e game. <laughs> so, see you guys then. Take care.